tell you about tonight's show. As you know, uh, you've been watching us every week. I, I certainly hope you have. And um, this is an anthology show. And each week we have a different story and different characters to do for you. And in what we hope are funny, flat out silly half hours. And sometimes uh, our stories, um, well, they, they get a little more dark and a little more serious. And tonight is uh, going to be one of those shows. Um, it may be a little disturbing, so I would recommend that if you, if you have small children, this may be a good time to tuck them in or send them off to play. We, um, we want you to laugh, and we'd like you to think a little as well, because this week's story is taken, it's taken right out of today's headlines. Um, it's set in a major city, could be any city, in the not-too-distant future. In fact, it could be tomorrow, and one thing is for certain, uh, we're going to be visiting a world that has gone just a little mad. Twelve, carry the nine. <laughs> Rosie, looks like you're going to win again. Yeah, I guess I was just born lucky. <laughs> Janet Flynn at the supermarket today. Janet Flynn? Uh -huh. I thought she was dead. Oh, no. Hmm. But didn't she get caught in that shootout over on 4th Street? Oh, that. Well, they just blew her ear off. <laughs> Again? <laughs> How many times has that happened to her? How many ears does she have? <laughs> You're terrible. <laughs> Isn't she terrible? <laughs> You're terrible. I only tell the truth. <laughs> girls, girls, relax. Put them away. It's only snuggles. Your cat? Uh-huh. Well, she looks like a tin can. What is she wearing? That new bulletproof kitty armor. Ten lives. <laughs> oh, isn't that precious? <laughs> Does it work? Yeah, it works pretty good. Only it slows her down, now the dogs get her. Oh. Fred. Oh, my. Is this what I... Is this a new 45? Hasn't even been fired. A virgin. <laughs> oh. Gun of the month club. Best thing I ever did. I can't believe the savings. I, didn't I tell you? Didn't I tell her? I, I mean, five guns for only ten ninety nine, and you only have to buy three more at the regular price. <laughs> oh, and Ida, look, this new gun has a backup safety. Good thinking, Fran. <laughs> Ida, I had to get it after what I did to you out on the target range. I just feel terrible. Oh, please. What's a larynx between friends? <laughs> Girl, I have got something myself to show you. Look. <gasps> oh, Rosie. Isn't it a beauty? <laughs> and it's all chrome. I can wear it with everything. <laughs> you always could wear chrome. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Sounds like it could be my car alarm. It is. Hey, you! Get away from my car! I missed him. took him out for me. Your mailman carries a machine gun? Don't they all? Not mine. He only carries this dinky little handgun. But he's cute. <laughs> well, Joe is gorgeous. And he's not only gorgeous, he's a crackerjack shot. That's why this is the safest neighborhood in the city. Well, I've just got to move to this side of town. I'd love to get an apartment in this building. Well, honey, as soon as one opens up, I'll let you know. 
What? That's not the cat. It's coming from the bedroom. Ida, you take the fire escape. Freya, you cover me. Police, call the police. Shut Show me. Up. Gag him. Damn. They put me on hold. Wait a minute, girls. Do you remember how we always used to talk and fantasize about what we would do if we ever caught one of these punks? Yeah. We said we'd take care of him. And that's what we did. We tied him up and he's secure. <sighs> no, Fran. I mean, really take care of him. I don't understand. We kill him. Uh oh. <laughs> no, 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 Rosie. That's going too far. Ida, what's happening with the police? Forget the police. Rosie, mm -hmm. we have to turn him over to the police so they can throw him in jail. Oh, and then he'll be out on the street tomorrow morning. And what's the first thing he's going to do? He's going to come looking for us. <laughs> Rosie, I'm sorry. I don't think it's right. Not right? I'll tell you what's not right. It's not right that I go to the market to get Snuggles a can of cat food and and a sniper blows off half my kneecap well, i know it's but not right you... that you are walking around with one eye because you went to buy some mascara and some punk old freako was robbing the place oh, but he wasn't aiming at me he... Brian! <laughs> what does it take to get you angry both eyes <laughs> i don't know about you but I don't want this slimy snake slithering back in here to slit my throat or yours. Or mine. I won't. I promise I swear I won't. I won't. Shut up. Now, it just seems to me we only have one choice. Kill him? Uh-oh. Oh. Hello, Sergeant. When you're too late, we're going to kill him. It's okay, Mr. Burglar. Be right back. This sure beats bridge, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, shouldn't we offer him one last meal? No, it's too hot to cook. <laughs> well, then, who's going to do it? Well, not you, Fran. Your aim sucks. <laughs> How can you say that my aim sucks? I'm lucky I can say you anything at all. You haven't forgiven me for your lyrics. I'm sorry, you were right on my blog site. I couldn't very well help it. Lady, I've been stop practicing. it, please. Now, come on. Can't we kill someone without getting into an argument? <laughs> I think I 
I should be the one who gets to do it on account of this is my apartment. House rules. <laughs> Seems fair. See you girls in a few minutes. Oh, there's pie in the fridge. <laughs> Sorry to keep you waiting, maggot. <laughs> I guess now you wish you carried a gun, huh? Any uh, last requests? Please, lady, let just let me go. Okay. Only when you leave, you'll be two ounces heavier. <laughs> lady, you'd shoot me for a lousy TV. I'd shoot you for the TV guide. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, wait. Wait, okay. Um, I'll scream. I'll scream. <laughs> what are you going to do if I scream, huh? Are you kidding? <laughs> Just listen. Lady, you're crazy. You're out of your mind. Crazy? Me? I'll tell you what's crazy. I'm a decent human being. I have never stolen anything, and I have never hurt anybody in my whole life, and yet here I am the one living behind bars. Now, that's crazy. And it's all because of you. It's because of you that I am afraid to go out on the street at night. It's because of you that when I do come home, my heart is pounding so hard in my ears that I fumble for my keys because I'm afraid you are waiting for me in the shadows. It's because of you that we are playing three-handed bridge in there tonight. You want to know why? It's because our dear friend Myrtle didn't get her keys out in time. Look, I'm sorry about your friend. Killing me isn't going to help anything. Oh, you're right. But it's going to make me feel a whole lot better. Rosie! Rosie! Rosie, someone's at the front door! All right. Not a peep. Mm -hmm. Who is it? Officers, uh, may I please see some identification? How you doing? Evening, ma'am. Sorry to disturb you, but we had a report of a few dozen prowlers in the vicinity. See anything? No, mm. no, sir, nothing unusual. Thank you. Well, just to be safe, we better check your fire escape, eh, Lefty? Good idea. <clears throat> Very nice. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, that's good. That's good. Teamwork is the most essential thing in home protection. <laughs> hey, Joe. Come here. Take a look at this. Huh? She forgot to play the ace on the queen. <laughs> What's the world coming to? I don't know. Hey, uh, what's in there? Oh, nothing, really. Just the bedroom. Stand back, ma'ams. Oh, <laughs> uh, Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, uh, carry on. <laughs> sorry to, uh, bother you, ladies. No problem, officer. Keep up the good citizenship, ladies. Good night. Is the coast clear? Yeah, blast him. <laughs> what is it? 
is it? <laughs> what? What? What's the matter with you? Can't you die with some dignity? <laughs> you said that I have one last request. All right, what is it? Feed my cat. What? Actually, she's just a kitten. I found her stuffed in an old abandoned muffler. I call her Midas. <laughs> nice try. No, 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 Rosie, Rosie, please. It's the truth, I, I swear it. I have a picture of her in my wallet. No. Rosie, please. Without me, she'll starve. It's my last request. Oh. She's cute. I figured she's about eight weeks old. She doesn't like canned food. Neither does my cat, Snuggles. Who's this? It's my niece, Leah, four years old. Just took first place in a tap dancing I don't, contest. I don't, I don't tell me anything. I don't want to know anything my about it. My name you. is Robert Barnsdale. I was an accountant before I lost my Shut job. Up. I'm 34 years hear. old. I'm divorced. Shut up! And you kissed me, Rosie! You kissed me. You pressed your body against mine. I felt your heart pounding against my chest. I know you felt mine. You held and touched and felt another human life. Now you're just going to blow me away like an animal. You look me in the eye, Rosie, before you pull that trigger. You look at me! You can still kill me. Well, anyone can kill anyone. What happened? I didn't hear a gunshot. We can't do it. What do you mean we can't do it? I can do it. No. <laughs> We can't kill him. But you're the one who said that I we know, had to... I know, and I was wrong. He's a human being. He has a cat. <laughs> and a four-year-old niece named Leah. Who cares? The guy is scum! I don't want him coming back here to slit my throat. He wouldn't do that. Robert wouldn't hurt a fly. Oh, Robert? Robert. <laughs> That's his name. Oh, I'll do it. No. We'll call the police. Oh, to hell with the police. I'll do it. No, so friend. Friend. Let no. Go. no. It's my no. turn. No. Robert, do me a favor.
Kitty. Here, Kitty. Come here. Here, Kitty, Kitty, come on. Here, Kitty. You were a wonderful audience. Please come back. Thank you. Next, you could win at least a million dollars when you watch the new hit comedy series, American Dreamer. Then, Octoliva, what's happening on Saturday night's main event? Tell me, Gene. Celebrate Oktoberfest with the World Wrestling Federation. You can dress them up, but you shouldn't let them out on Saturday night's main event.